Now you guys have seen three of five quick methods. This time we're just going to use the blow torch only. And we've got two exposed ends right here. We're going to lightly put them together. Wiggle them, wiggle them around a little bit. They'll go together. Twist just a hair. Yeah, I got to get them to open up just a little bit more. I got to get the Chinese finger contraption going on here. Twist a little bit if I can. Sometimes you're in a tight spot, you won't be able to twist them too much. You're just going to have to roll what you got. Go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Get my solder ready. I'm going to try to get my joint nice and warm. Once it starts to get warm, solder will start flowing. You got yourself a basic, nice soldered joint. Don't get no easier than that. Getting already prepped your wire ahead of time and you had some heat shrink already sitting down the wire. If you have access, you can go ahead and slide that over it now, over your solder joint. There you go. Basic solder joint without using a soldering tip. Now if you're in a tight area and you can't get hot, super hot air blowing in other areas sensitive, then you're going to have to put the soldering tip on there, which I will do that next. Alright, now I've actually... That's it, the joints flowed. We've got a soldered joint now with just that little bit. It concentrates so much heat on that tip so quick. If you just take a little bit of solder before you start, everybody doesn't have to do it this way and everybody's not gonna agree with, agree with me. I really don't care. You take a little bit of solder before you start and you just Hit that tip up just a little bit. Just get a little bit of base built up right there on that tip. And when you go over to your joint to solder, you actually have some material that you could start laying. See that right there? Just that little bit. It actually laid right on top of that. And I can mold it, maneuver it, do whatever I need with it. I could actually pull some of the solder out of the connection if I got it too globby by putting it underneath it. And it'll pull towards the heat. And now more solder has flowed to the other ends of my wires. I can try to maneuver it and make it, I can flow my solder the way I need to flow it. See now the whole entire from strand to strand is covered just by utilizing that soldering tip. Again, you can come back this way and heat shrink it or you can electrical tape it and I'll show you that. There's a couple different methods with electrical tape. You can actually physically use electrical tape. 
You can use a liquid electrical tape or a spray, uh, a liquid brush electrical tape or a spray liquid tape. And you've covered your connection with the liquid electrical tape.